Welcome to Pharmacy Prep. Many students contact me to inquire about how to become pharmacist in Canada. So here I like to give you some information to how to become a pharmacist in Canada. So the first step uh, that those who decided to become a pharmacist in Canada, it is a great decision and congratulations for your decision. So therefore, the first step you have to do is you should contact the Pharmacy Examination Board of Canada, which is in short, that is called PEBC. And their website is pebc.ca. So this examination board, which is the Pharmacy Examination Board of Canada, will look at your pharmacy degree and determine that your eligibility to write the licensing exams. So once you have become eligible to write the licensing exam, and that's what opens up your doors to become a licensed pharmacist. So once you're eligible, and then you're eligible to write the licensing exams. So here are the exams, the licensing exams. There are uh, two levels of exam. The first exam that is called equivalency exam or evaluating exams. That means all international pharmacy graduate, those who wish to write licensing exams here in Canada, they have to go through this equivalency exam, which is also called equivalency exam or evaluating exam. So this evaluating exam happens twice a year, once in summer and also happens in winter. Um, so for the dates and schedules and also application for the exams, please do contact again PEBC, which is the Pharmacy Examination Board of Canada or PEBC.ca. So once you are eligible to write the evaluating exam, that's the time you surely should contact us, that is at pharmacyprep.com because we do offer great preparation for these exams and also we have a great uh, reference books and we do offer courses such as in-class courses and also we offer online courses so we do have students under the training and has been training in the past 20 years and students participate training here in our campuses for in-class courses which is, happens here in Canada and also students from overseas, they also can participate online with, through our online courses. So once you pass this first exam, equivalency exam or evaluating exam, you will be eligible to write the qualifying exams. So the qualifying exams also happens twice. Again, for the details of the qualifying exams, you can look at the PEBC website. And then uh, within the qualifying exam, there are two exams. Uh, one is a written exam which is part one written exam that is called, given as a done as a multiple choice question that is the MCQ and the second is a part two exam which happens in practical that is also known as OSCE or in short we can say OSCE. So once you pass this exam obviously this gives you eligibility to uh, become a pharmacist here from all over Canada in the coast to coast. So Canada, however, within Canada, the license is given by the Provincial College of Pharmacies. So Canada has a 10 beautiful provinces and each province has Provincial College of Pharmacy and that's the time you should also contact those Provincial College of Pharmacies and their website. So like for example, if you're in Ontario, we have Ontario College of Pharmacy and also you, if you're in British Columbia, uh, you have British Columbia College of Pharmacy or Saskatchewan or any province, Alberta, all those provinces have each College of Pharmacy. So those are the places you have to contact them and obviously after passing these board exams and you will be eligible to contact them. Also you can contact them before that as well. However, um, each College of Pharmacy, Provincial College of Pharmacy had set out some more uh, uh, some more requirements like some uh, provinces most provinces have English proficiency requirement that means there are uh, requirement for the IELTS exams and also each province have jurisprudence and internships and also um, the certain programs the requirements you have to go through for each provinces uh, based on their College of Pharmacy websites you can follow with them so hopefully this information will be helpful to begin with 
Uh, however, if you have uh, more questions, more information if you want to know about my video, please do. Uh, you can make a comment on our my YouTube channel that is Miss Bobby Abani, or also you can post a comment on my Twitter handle that is Miss Bobby Abani. Thank you.